we can't live in a free society if people's political views are expressed through violence. Reaction tonight after the woman convicted of vandalizing a Davis mosque is sentenced to probation. In January, 30 year old Lauren Kirk Quaylo vandalized the Islamic Center of Davis. The DA argued that she admitted to wanting to hurt people. Jail time was an option, but in the end, the judge decided against it. CBS 13 Unser Hassan is in Davis with reaction to the sentencing. Lauren Kirkwello's crimes were caught on camera, but it's what she said off camera that's raising red flags. The social media postings that she had and the chats that we were able to recover showed that she harbored these extreme feelings where she wanted to hurt people. But that wasn't enough to convince a judge to put the 30 year old Kirkwello behind bars. Her punishment? Five years probation. Back in January, Kirkwello vandalized the Islamic Center of Davis, breaking windows, damaging property, and placing bacon on door handles, a way to antagonize Muslims who don't eat pork. Kirkwello, who was diagnosed with bipolar disorder, pled guilty to the felony charges. The Yolo County District Attorney wanted Kirkwello to go to jail, especially considering the motive behind her attack. We can't live in a free society if people's political views are expressed through violence. I think a felony conviction is something that will follow her for the rest of her life, and five years formal proba probation isn't, isn't a joke either. Saad Swillam is a civil rights attorney. He's pleased a decision's been reached, but he's also concerned over what he calls Islamophobic rhetoric used during the trial and with what seems like a light sentence. People might view attacks on the Muslim community as something that won't be taken too seriously with consequences and you know maybe people would get off lightly. It, it just further antagonizes the Muslim community and they were already the victim in this case. Hey! Meanwhile, back at the Islamic Center, a large crowd gathered at sunset to open their fast during the month of Ramadan. They've received a lot of support from the community, but many here say it's time to forgive and move on.